Hey, what's up guys? It's Apollo. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to turn 15 of the uh, Iberian Hot Seat campaign. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, um, let's see. Ooh, geez. We are third overall. <laughs> We're first financial though. Uh, financially, we are monsters. Um, which, you know, hey, that's also a pretty big asset. So... Who knows, maybe I can convince someone to do something for a little bit of cash. Um, but we do have the Moors. Um, they're not really moving forward yet. Uh, but they do have a couple armies here that are pretty concerning. Yeah, look at this army. Um, I do have a lot of reinforcements over here, so we'll go ahead and get them marching down. Um, let's see. All this cab. I guess we'll get the... Uh, the peasant archers over here as well so let's march them down they will meet up in the uh the front lines here let's go ahead and get this general inside um we've got the rebel force but again they're in the moors section so we're keeping my general here um or my general my i mean my spy keep my spy here here's my fleets oh what do we have here Oh, ho, ho, ho. I do not think so, my friend. Can we meet up? Here we go. Um, I have no idea what's in here, but it could be some enemy forces. So I need to look out for that. Um, man, I really hope they don't come ashore with an army. That would not be good. I, I don't think... Let me check the stats here. Let me see if the Moors are just, like, rapidly growing in military. Actually, they reduced in military. So I don't think that fleet's going to have any kind of army on it. But I still need to be careful here. Um, I'm going to keep my fleet nearby. This is a pretty strong fleet I have here. Um, so I'll look out for that. I'm not too, not too concerned. Um, you know what? I should, like, build a watchtower um <laughs> that doesn't really add any kind of sight for me but whatever it's there just in case so what we did is we took this war to the moors and unfortunately we have to leave defeated though it wasn't as big as a defeat as it could have been now i expect the moors to come and bring the war to my lands and i really have to prepare for that um Now I just have to get some decent buildings. Uh, I might go for this ballista maker, but let's, I mean, overall, how are we doing? Like financially compared to everyone, production wise, we're still just flatlining. Uh, wow, look at this, the Moors. <laughs> it's because they lost that city and then next turn they got it back. Um, look at this financially like oh my god we are doing fantastic um, I really don't want to lose any of my cities that would be huge but I don't know maybe we can work something out with the Moors maybe um, a peace treaty or I don't know I don't mind him coming over here with some armies in fact I would I would like him to because I know my lands and I know how to fight the enemy on my lands I think I'm going to uh, get a ballista maker, make it harder for them to attack, and what else can I get here? An inn. Okay, I, ooh, an inn would get me assassins. I really need to get that inn. And what can I build here? Let's see. Practice range or a drill square. This will get me some javies. And peasants, nothing really great, but eventually it will get me. Ooh, a catapult maker. That's not important right now. I don't necessarily need a catapult maker. I'm gonna go with the uh, drill. Maybe I should get a chapel. Get some priests. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much the uh, the Moors are gonna just send their priests. Yeah, look at this. They're getting ready to move. In fact, I should recruit some priests. Yeah, see, I can't recruit any there. Can I recruit any here? I cannot. So maybe I should recruit or build that chapel because I need to fight off the um, 
their priests, the Islamic ones. I don't want them converting my people because that's going to cause all kinds of issues. Yes. All right. Um, I can't really recruit any awesome troops yet, but I have time. I have a lot of time. Hopefully this army can get... Ooh, it's going to take a decent amount of time for them to get into the city. I also am going to need some troops over here, so... Um, I'm gonna get some spear militia just to have something Just to have something. I'm pretty sure I can afford them. Don't really want town militia. What's what what is better spear militia or town militia? Let's see spear militia I'm pretty sure spear militia is a little bit better It really sucks because the war front is right here of course where the moors are but the only city or settlement that's pumping out good troops is right here. And this is a castle. It's so far away. So that, that's why I really have to be careful with my troops. And I really can't lose them. Now the good thing about having all this money is getting mercenaries. I'll be able to afford mercenaries. Now let's look how much money we're going to make tur next turn. We're going to have around 4,000 gold, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, so mercenaries are going to be in my favor because I have all this gold. Uh, wow, I'm doing so well. I am doing very well with gold. So there's something to look forward to. I don't know what that necessarily means in a hot seat campaign. I, I can't be too sure. Um, let's get my spy going this way. Um, let's check my list of agents. Or those sort of settlements. Agents. Let's make sure I'm moving everybody. Uh, you know what, I'm probably, let's move this spy right, right here. Actually, let's have him go back here. I like seeing both, uh, territories here. I do have three spies here. Which is good. Um, does he have, he has that damn ballista, which makes things difficult. I, c what is this, a diplomat? I, uh, okay. What should I do with my diplomat? I guess I'll get him to go towards the moors. Um... Now, I could recruit a giant um, mercenary army and put some pressure on the, the Moors. Because I have gold in my favor. I just, I need to get, I need to get, you know what, I need to just stay put for now. And really look at my opportunities and figure out what to do next. But for now... Um, I think I'm gonna end the turn here. I think I've done I've done everything that I could. I'm building everywhere. Yes, um, I've got my army marching down, which is gonna take a while, but I I think I'll have time. With the French diplomat over here, it looks like he might want to talk to us. And then again, we have the fleet over here by the Moors, so we have to watch out for that. Again, I don't think he's gonna have an army, but you never know. Uh, Spain supposedly is having some difficulties against the French. Uh, supposedly the French are taking out a lot of cities, but, uh, nobody is truly an ally in this hot seat. Everybody wants to win. There's only going to be one standing. So, you know, even though the Moors and the French are together, we'll see what happens here. Uh, cause someone's going to get pretty powerful very fast. So someone will switch sides here. I can assure you that. And if I can just stay alive keep my my um financial situation uh getting better just keep it growing then i should be all right and hopefully i can turn this around so thanks for watching guys i know it wasn't the most <laughs> exciting part uh hot seat campaigns you, it, it takes a while for massive battles or wars to happen so i hope you are i hope you are enjoying this nonetheless and i will see see you guys next time thanks for stopping by i appreciate it